Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific a crackling atmosphere the match i think will be quite a spectacle it is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages one of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world Quite some performance, and now here comes the response. Two high-profile, high-caliber teams. This is a welcome event for all these supporters. Oh, get ready for some high-grade football, Peter. Two strong teams, as you say, full of wonderful individual talent. And we have every right to anticipate some really entertaining football. As to whether we'll see a high-scoring contest, that's a little harder to predict. I'm not complaining, though, because there are good players everywhere you look around this surface, and... That's a fine start in itself. Oh, it's down to business here. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Harry Kane. He's a deadly finisher, Peter, obviously, but he can... Oh, he's taken out. That'll be a foul. There could be trouble here. And so now the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. That was travelling. Conte. Pavard. And it's Griezmann. Hernandez. Forward it goes. Rashford is on to it. Deep cross. Sterling. Rice. It's a promising run he's making on the right. I have to say that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. Looking to force his way through. He's been bundled over, that is a foul. And he's going to have his name taken. Well, they're struggling to cope with a, a pacey dribble because they've not been out of as a team. I think the collective pressure needs to be better all around. And the potential here for the first goal of the game. Griezmann! Oh, that's fabulous! About as smooth as it gets! And France are in front! Oh, that is a bit special. France take the lead, 1-0. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Some good stubborn defending there. 
Kane. England get it back again. Pogba. Pogba plays it forward. Just brushed off the ball there. Good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, but they can play some massive lead. Harmlessly behind. Pogba tried to play it through. Uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. Oh, he's brought him down, and it is a penalty. So a big, big chance now from 12 yards. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score, and obviously he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? Pickford will have to save it here, or there's real trouble. Oh, dispatched with certainty. Well, that was a big pressure kick, and he didn't let his team down. He took that so calmly. France get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? And it's Benzema. Mbappe... Gets the better of his man. Trippier. Trippier goes looking. Sterling tries to get it forward quickly. Havar. He's made sure that that won't get through. Decent looking ball. Not much subtlety. He's launched himself there. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. Pogba drives it forward. A heavy challenge. No complaints about that challenge. Robust, but fair. Pogba hoists it forward. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Benzema. Pogba. He's through the middle. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Griezmann. And again, they run up against stubborn defending. And that is as far as they're going to go. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Mings. Well weighted. Oh, what a ball! He's had a goal! Could fall kindly! It's there! Lloris reacted well to the initial effort, but couldn't get it right out of the danger area. Oh, that's great awareness. Full marks to him as he was just that bit quicker than everyone else on the follow-up. We have got ourselves a game here. Well, they've given themselves a chance here, but now it's a case of getting the balance right between attack and defence, and that's not easy. Baran does well there, alert. Conte. And it's Sterling. 
England are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Mbappe. Oh, well played. He's taken that really cleanly. It's Benzema! In for the pieces. They've done it! Two ahead, late in the day. Game over, surely. Pickford did well the first time. Nothing he could do about the follow-up. I might sound a little harsh here, but the keeper, I felt, could have done a better job in ensuring that ball didn't go back out into the danger area. France could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? Well, some fans are already on their way out, so that, to me, says everything, Peter. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? Stones tries to get it forward quickly. Now it's Kane. Kane gets it out to the wing and helps available out wide. Rashford. This could be their final throw of the dice. Tries to get it clear. Shot at goal! And that is the last effort of the game. So they bask in their win, a genuinely professional performance and a result which is well deserved. Here would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? France was...